As chair of the Congressional Black Caucus Health Brain Trust, I'm deeply concerned by the disparities that this pandemic has brought to light due to our nation's history of discriminatory policy leading to differences in health outcomes for people of color. Time and time again, when resources are scarce, some communities are forced to do without the goods and services they need. You identify multiple situations in which the United States would face a shortage of supplies needed to respond to COVID-19, from masks to swabs and other testing materials, and potentially the supplies that deliver a vaccine when one is ready. During COVID-19, we've seen some states forced to pay significantly more because they're on their own to procure those medical supplies. Not every state or locality can afford to do this. Knowing what we do know about how scarce resources are procured and distributed, what impact will shortages have on lower income communities? The, the shortages will impact across all of America, and unfortunately, it actually increases uh, the, the concern in, in communities that aren't uh, part of the mainstream or might have lower socioeconomic status. So I think it has a significant chance of increasing the risk in those communities. How have you seen this impact the devastation of the disease in these communities? These communities have, the data are showing that they're hit very hard and we don't actually have the information yet to understand fully what's behind that or why. Um, and it has health status or access to health care or or other immunization status or healthcare status. So we're still learning a lot about that. Um, however, it's really important to think about when we have diagnostic tests and other things available, that they are available to everyone. And many of these tests that we're developing today are very expensive or, or in very rare supplies. So we need to make sure that we're developing and making available tests that are not just rapid and accurate, but low cost. And so everyone who needs a test can access those tests. Did you attempt to urge HHS leadership or the administration to consider preparedness, outreach, or targeted resources for these populations? Or are you aware of any HHS administration actions to target resources outreach to these vulnerable groups? I have, I've, I've had some conversation. There have been some conversations, I should say, uh, focusing on, on groups that are harder to reach in a different socioeconomic status. I'm not sure that there is a a solidified plan in place just yet to make sure that it's more than a conversation. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like there is. In your testimony, you recommend establishing a national standard and coordinate equitable distribution of equipment and supplies. Will this help to ensure that every community can access the equipment and supplies they need? That is what's needed. Will more equitable distribution of equipment and supplies help to address the inequities we're seeing in the impact of COVID-19 on communities of color? Yeah, absolutely. And do you feel in the last bill that we passed, we made sure that there was um, uh, passing the bill um, better data as far as race and not just who died, but who was hospitalized and so on and so forth, because we're hoping that better data will inform policy. How do you feel like that'll help? I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. I think it's a wise move. Okay, good. And uh, we're supposed to get a report 21 days uh, from when the president signed the bill, then 30 days, and then 180 days. I'm not from, uh, aware of those yeah. guidelines that comes in a different area, but I think reporting and oversight of that is important. And then lastly, you've been sitting in that seat for a while, but is there anything uh, that we haven't asked you that you want to say? It's a really important question, and, and I've thought a lot about that. I want, um, I think, to highlight the things I talked about in my opening statement is uh, we need transparency in the science, and America needs to know the truth. This is a devastating pandemic, and not just for health, but also society, our economy, our jobs, our, our livelihood. And if we do not take seriously the call for action to put specific things in place, a coordinated national plan, for testing and response and equitable distribution of these limited supplies and ramp up and prepare for what will be a very devastating fall if we don't have the right supplies in place and raw materials, then this virus will overcome us in significant ways still. So we have limited time. My message is we have limited time. We have the ability to do it. We have the greatest scientific minds in our country to do it. We need to listen to them, put the plan in place, and everyone get busy stopping this virus. Right. I know it's very, I, 
had three people in my family with it, and I lost my uncle um, maybe like 10 days ago now from the virus. So it, it, it does definitely touch everybody. Thank you, and thank you for your patience. Thank you.